back to the family? How are you doing? It's been a while now, it's been a very long time. I hope I catch you well. Today I'm going to be talking about the son. The son, the S-U-N. It's not the S-O-N. The S-U-N is the light of the world light that is outside of us. Which is the light that we always used to see every day. During the daytime, light the light of the world. That's why they always that's why you always hear the word light of the world, light of the world. The light of the world is the sun. It's not a, a S-O-N, the Son of God, have that make you to believe. Because believing is you actually not knowing the facts, you not really grasping the the tangible truth about what you have in front of you or what you have heard from a certain person. So that is why you have to always do your research. When you, whenever you hear a thing that you know that this can be a very permanent thing that you have to accept and take in your life, you have to do your own personal research on it. So as I've always been talking about my, in this my channel about the religion uh, misunderstanding and the whole negative doctrines of it and how the effect of this religion is affecting the world globally, especially the non-melanated people. If you can always pay attention, if you can pay attention, if you can have the time to pay attention, if you are not always up and down, here and there, if only you paying attention we open your eyes to see the behaviors of people across the world those who give you the religion are doing better than you they are making profit off you the more because you see a savior figure in your front because you when you remember about who you are praying to because imagination religion deal with them installing into you into your mind some images that's why they have to hurt movie. That's why they have to make you understand your religion through movie. So that you really get the picture of who your savior is. Who are the angels? Who are the good Samaritan? Who are the black Samaritan? And who is the devil? Most of them, we also often see the devil as sometimes brass color of skin. You see sometimes they'll be black. Sometimes you see uh, some red devilish figures with they so that is how the old miss understand the religion and when you come to look at who the savior you actually see a normal human being normal human being skin without tail just like our fellow people out there today look at all your saviors you see who they are look at the devils you see who they are look at the angels you see who they are and you have to Bear in mind that whoever is bearing the God, whoever is being being the Savior, whoever is always saving saving you, it's not saving you, saving people in the fiction movies that you have watched about religion, they are always favored. You favor, you always favor them subconsciously in your mind, and even physically in our plain world. Where are the old people moving towards today? In any time of any circumstance in their country or in their areas in life, where are they always going to? Pay attention to all this so that you will know what religion is doing to you and how you have to find a way on your own because I can't free you. You have to free yourself. I can make you aware. I can make you become aware of what is in your face that you have been skipping because you are too busy, because you are not paying much attention, because you are not awakened very fully. You are conscious, but you are not mentally conscious. When you follow things, you are not mentally conscious. When you follow things that you don't question, you are not mentally conscious. Or when you do things that you don't know where it's leading to or what you are going to do with what you are doing. What is this thing that I'm doing? You are not mentally conscious. So the son again, as you hand, is not the son of God. It's not Jesus, the son of God is the son, S-U-N, the son of man. We are the man, man and women, we, all of us. Without the son, S-U-N, the plant can't grow. 
photosynthesis can't, can't happen. You can't eat. Because without the plant growing, we can't eat anything. Even though now food are being created in, uh, in labs with chemical heat and all those combination of different things. But the first natural resources have to, have, have to always come from the soil, which is the plant. So without the sun shining on this plant, we can't get this plant. That's how the sun is very, very important in your life. Without the sun, I can't be here. You can't be living today. Without the sun in our life, everywhere will be ice. So, the main character of that sun that they are trying to tell you in every time in the Emera, Emera, Emera is sun god. Everything religious are whole stories brought from the ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt cultures and other stories of various kind of civilization in part of the world. Then they put everything together to form a religion for you. Religion is a it's a, it's a relationship between a slave and a master. And that's why they always tell you that know where you are, know who you are. Know where you are at so that you won't miss your road. Me, I, won't, I wouldn't want to be in religion because I don't want to be a slave. Because if I'm a religion, it's just, that, it's just like me having a master over me. So uh, I always ask for permission. Before you use your common sense, you have to ask for permission. And if you can't see the person they're asking the permission from, you can't even get the permission to use your common sense to do the right thing. And that's why you see people keep keep people keep keeping on to themselves, malice, hatred, because they are saying, I'm still I'm still seeking, I'm still seeking the hand of God. I'm seeking the hand of Jesus Christ to, to tell me what to do. And these people they are mentally deranged because they don't know, they haven't seen this person before, they don't know who he is, they don't know where he's from. They just heard the writings on the on paper and they go along with it. So that is mentally deranged and brainwashed individual. Because if you are seeing this video for the first time today, I'm not being assertive, it's not I'm not bashing on you. I'm just letting you to know what is happening. I'm making you conscious. That is my work. My work is to make you conscious. For you to see what you are not seeing, for you to see what you have been skipping all your life. The sun, S U N. Derived from the Emer Ra, Ra is the sun god, the sun god of Egypt. The stories of Ra, or those Emer Ra, Herut, um, Osiris, and Co. in Egypt uh, myth mythology. Those beings also ne never existed, but it's just a story. And in Egypt times, those days, they always have the various kings, just like other African kings. So Egypt was more like published in this uh, modern world that we are. It's more published. The remaining, the remaining spiritual aspect of it is from the western part, eastern part of Africa, and certain part of Africa. And that is part of the things that they are, that they are using to govern and uh, control the world. Because of they have taken people that created religion, they have taken this, those powers also. They have people working for them, what to do, what to not do, and how to manipulate people. Because everything is about nature. When you think about life, think about energy, vibration, and frequency. And they can manipulate all these things. Nature, that is nature for you. Nature do is so deal with all those three things, and they can be manipulated through spirituality. That which West African really deal with. That's why anytime that you hear people always trying to insult themselves that you are that you do voodoo, voodoo, voodoo here, voodoo there, and that is how it is. They want people to not accept anything called voodoo or anything spiritual because they know what what you can do when you have come. To grasp the knowledge, and you have no how to manipulate nature. 
to your own good. And that is what we should be actually be seeking for, seeking our spiritual essence, seeking the way for we to ma materialize things, for we to bring out things into, into physical, you know, to, for we to manifest what we, what we have spiritually created in our mind, our visions. So the sun, the sun, without the sun, I can't be here speaking here because we are all solar beings. We are solar beings. Our skin absorbs the sun, uh, the, the food of our skin is the sun. We have to absorb more sun. When you are having time, always seek for sun. If there's sun, if the sun shine, don't be scared of the sun. Don't wear glass to cover your face. Let your eyes enjoy the sun. Yes, let your eyes eat the food, eat its food. Let your skin eat its food. So that is it, the sun in a very short way and what the sun really is. Our heads move around the sun, the whole planet move around the sun continuously. When our heads move to this part, there are many parts that have moved to one side will be dark and night will fall upon those, those areas. So the Egyptian god is the, the, the Egyptian sun god is Emera, and that's why you always hear all those. And then in the ending of your your prayers that you always pray before, you always say Amen, 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 because that is the sun god, the sun god. The sun again is the Alo. When you hear Alo be that name, that kingdom come. Alo, 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 Alo is the the king of the universe of the of the cloud. Alo. Is the sun again, S U N. So, hope you enjoyed this video today, family. And I'm happy to be back again with you, family. I'll keep sharing my message. Nothing can stop me. I am all over here, you know. Let me use a bit of American accent. Now, I'm actually using a Nigerian accent, Nigerian English accent. Hope you're enjoying my message. Hope. You are remaining conscious. Don't be distracted. Be focused. Focus on the right things. Focus on your vision. Focus on your purpose. Light up the world of the people around you in your areas and in you also. Respect. The good life.